Hey YouTube, this is Dave from My Tech Command Cave, and today I'm going to show you all about how crack, cracked apps, whether you download them from Install S5 or whether you download them from your computer uh, with a torrent file or, or using App Tracker, um, whatever way, um, all you need is an IPA, a dot IPA, and uh, it's got to be cracked, and you have to have app sync if you wanted to get it on your device so uh, first things first I have to show you first how iTunes works uh, the important thing is to see you know to understand iTunes and how um, Apple handles IPAs and then you'll get a better grasp on uh, what's going on okay so first things first here's iTunes and I'm on my apps uh, late um, on the apps update and uh, I have 30 apps available and uh, I'm able to you know update them and Apple knows which version you have of each app and when you click for updates it will query uh, you know the iTunes store and figure out you know which apps need to be updated now first things first when you get an app and you buy one from Apple store say for instance um, when you install it uh, via iTunes what happens is it, it actually goes onto your computer in the music folder um, and then inside music folder even on PC or Mac if you go into the iTunes folder uh, you open iTunes media you open up mobile applications and there you're gonna see all your IPAs uh, the, the hard file um, you know the actual file itself of all the IPAs that you have on your computer and then what happens Apple creates an icon that gets placed into iTunes now you can designate whether or not um, when you take a cracked app and you drag it into iTunes uh, whether it's going to save a hard file onto here or it's just going to take an image of wherever you have that IPA and throw it on here like a shortcut to wherever you have that IPA I'll explain um, say for instance um, uh, let's see say for instance you take this app that I downloaded from app tracker okay and you uh, let's drag it to the desktop this is a cracked app uh, boom there it is on the desktop and I got it out of my downloads folder okay now whether you want to put it in here and then double click it and let iTunes create a shortcut or you want to leave it here and double click it and let iTunes install it into your mobile applications folder in the music folder um, it all depends on what setting you have set in uh, preferences uh, for iTunes um, if you go into pre iTunes preference uh, and you click on advanced uh, you'll see that uh, whether you have this checked off checked uh, copy files into iTunes media folder when adding to library all right so um, if you have that checked and you hit um, you know you double click this what's going to happen is it's going to um, place uh, an icon onto your iTunes um, here uh, and it's also going to copy it into the folder here um, let's type in so ran to the zoo um, in mobile applications and you'll see that ran to the zoo in mobile applications is placed in here of course you know there's a ran in that and a ran in that, but you know, if you ran, if you type the whole thing and uh, you know, you get the idea, it gets placed into mobile applications folder, okay, automatically. So, wherever you keep your IP cracked IPAs, say you have a separate folder, if you double click it and you have that checked off in preferences, it will be sent into the, the music folder. Now, the only thing is with cracked apps. Um, when you go for updates because this ran to the zoo app that I put in I downloaded a, a um, 
a younger version and you won't find it in here for for updates uh, you're what you're gonna see Apple won't you know tell you there's an update for for ran to the zoo if it's a lesser now and the other thing and and what I recommend is that when you um, go into preferences you change it to uh, you know you take the check mark off and what will happen is if you take the check mark off and you say take your app either you double click it or you drag it into iTunes um, you, you won't save a hard file on the uh, the folder that uh, you know you won't save it into your music folder iTunes um, iTunes media this way you keep everything separate um, you keep all your paid apps into the iTunes folder that you can back up if you ever have to restore your computer and then you keep all of your cracked apps uh, in into a cracked folder and then this cracked folder uh, will have all of those files uh, you know your IPAs all your apps that are cracked and then it will just put a shortcut on iTunes okay uh, this way you have your paid apps in your legit folder and then you have your cracked apps in your cracked folder uh, so it's up to you whether you make that check mark or not um, and that's pretty much everything there is to do with iTunes and uh, that's pretty much it with iTunes so to get cracked apps on app tracker um, all you have to do is pretty much say just like you do with install us 5 you click you choose what version you want and say we use uploading and we type in G I hope that's a C C Q am I right I don't know so down it will go right to this site where it hosts it uh, you'll click on um, you'll you'll wait the 35 seconds and then behind it um, you know something will pop up for a link but you basically get the idea and then iTunes will download it into the download folder here and then you have uh, you can go right to finder and finder will show you that I pulled it onto my desktop and uh, then you can make a secret folder or whatever all right so now you know how iTunes works you know how to download from app tracker and um, oh, here we go so quick record all right now also the other thing I want to show you is when you have when you have an app on, on um, install us when you connect the device to iTunes and um, you right mouse button onto the tab for the iPod you can transfer purchases so you transfer the purchase and the purchase will be sent over into iTunes of course into that music folder I was telling you about um, this music folder here it'll be placed into the iTunes media mobile applications and be sent right into here and then once again Apple will not update it for you um, but once you get it on your device install us will remind you that there's an update and when you update it it will when you connect again it will transfer over the new one and then the old ones get sent to um, they get sent to the trash and on the uh, iTunes store the legitimate iTunes store they will show you that you have updates to cracked apps uh, but when you go to say this one is a cracked app if you go to update it uh, it will jump in and then pop up an error message that will say the discounted price is only for available for customers who had a previous version uh, paid previous version of this so if you hit buy you will buy it and they'll send you the bill uh, if not then you hit cancel all right and then you just go into through 
uh, install us and let, let you know upgrade through install us um, any apps that you you know you, you want to update okay so uh, you know that's important uh, and then once you update that app and you put it into uh, connected to iTunes uh, you could transfer the purchase and it will get rid of the old one put the new one in and send the other one to the trail so, I hope this gave you a little bit of an insight it's kind of difficult to explain because there's so many variables but please if you have any questions ask in the comments and I'll be happy to answer all of your questions thank you